Welcome back to Friends with Benefits, everyone. My name is Diego. My name is Dante. I'm Ice. If you want to support us, take a second to like and subscribe. If you're an audio listener, feel free to check us out on YouTube. If you want to leave a comment or a question or a topic for us to cover, please do so. We'll cover it. We'll talk about anything. Today, we have a new guest with us, Dante. Yeah, Tell us a little bit about yourself, Dante. man. Um, my name is Dante. <laughs> I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah. Born and raised. Just moved back to Salt Lake from Orem. And I'm already telling you, it's it's way better. I oh, I, I hate Utah County. I completely forgot. I went there for school and UVU. you'll never see me down there again. UVU. You'll never catch me down there again. UVU. <laughs> What'd you go to school for? Criminal justice, which looking back might have been a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit. But yeah, now I kind of switch gears and going to law school soon. That's sick, man. That's nice. Sick. Nice. Yeah, you just uh, you just got done taking the LSAT like thirty minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. It was Technically like an hour ago. Two hours yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. Two did hours you, did ago. you pass? Well, it's not really a pass. <laughs> fail. So you failed. But basically, yeah. <laughs> it's my score range. I failed. I think I passed this time though. But How many times did you take it? The first time. I don't know why I said this time. Yeah. yeah. I was <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> it's like I've taken it seven <laughs> times. This is your first time I taking take it. it seven times. And yeah, those tests are expensive. Two fifteen. Gosh. That's not including the study program I paid for, which was an undisclosed mm. amount. So, that well, hurts, hey, man. Dante, okay. what high school did you go to? Taylorsville. Yikes, dude. What do you even know about Salt Lake? I don't know anything. About <laughs> Have you ever. Was it fun? Was, Taylor, was Taylorsville fun? Yeah, it was good. It was a good balance of ghetto kids and preppy kids. And I fit mostly with the ghetto kids, but I got along with the preppy kids. Fun. It was nice. And it was diverse, which I love. You played soccer, huh? I did. <gasps> Only three years, though. What position did you play? <laughs> so the first year I started at Taylorsville for soccer, I played forward. And then uh, my coach. Everyone who, plays forward. Yeah, good old George. And then so, you and then George, went to, then went to said, fullback. Hey, said, hey, bro, play center back. I'll make you D1. I said, okay. As a sophomore, as a little sophomore, I said, okay, right? All right. And uh, I didn't go D1, but I did become a center back. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was good. The most boring position out there dude the most stressful position because it's you're the last line of defense it still sucks dude does it you gotta be forward you you're gotta right. be forward it's to more, do anything it's more exciting funny thing is though i actually scored more goals as a center back hmm. than our star forward those guys year. must suck your forwards no, are he didn't suck he was better than me it's just sometimes it'd be like that the ball just came to you i guess right For yep real. right there to my head that's the only thing i knew how to use <laughs> That's funny. Dante, how did we meet you? Little That's going to be the topic how did, how, for today. How did we meet? Yeah. How did we meet Dante? I got bamboozled by a, uh, a very, very, I wouldn't say, I don't know if it was smart. I would say that he was conniving. Who he was very conniving. Really, who are you saying? Who, we got bamboozled? Yeah, we you, all did. yeah, I was about to say you we said we did. said us like yeah, you yeah, guys yeah. got bamboozled. Yeah, you got no, bamboozled no, said, too. You got bamboozled. <laughs> yeah, no, you did too. I saw you there. No, you did. <laughs> you were there. We were all, we all did. How do we all get what? We all got bamboozled. That's what I'm not saying. Not just you. Huh? Or not just Diego. Not just no, me. That's Diego. what he's saying. He, he said all of us got bamboozled. <laughs> he realized he messed up and he's switching it up. He's a professional gaslighter. <laughs> what do I do? That's what I do. Uh, I'm just kidding. Did you learn that during your second summer of summer sales or first? <laughs> I didn't. I don't remember that lesson. So, <laughs> what company did we uh, go out with? Hawks. Good old Hawks. Wait. So how did we meet Dante? Tell us about. Tell us about the story. The first like the first oh, time we met. How did they recruit you? Actually, oh, how did start okay. there? Oh, you yeah, because it was so part. it was hella random because you were freaking from UVU, bro. I think you can relate to this story. You ready? So public speaking class, first semester at UVU. I had no idea what summer sales was, oh, right? Man. I fell into the trap because I didn't know about the trap. There was this guy named Dolan. And uh, one day after <laughs> class, he was like, hey, I have this great opportunity for work over the summer. Like, are you interested? Tell me more about it. And I'm like, OK, sure. Right. Then he threw up numbers and I'm like, OK, sure. Why not? Right. <laughs> Yeah, Seems 40, like, 50 K? Yeah, for a summer? A summer? Four months? Easy. Yeah. I just not work the rest of the school year. Exactly. So I was like, all right, I'll consider it. And so, long story short, uh, he ended up recruiting me. And then uh, two weeks before we were leaving for uh, Texas, he dropped out. Okay. <laughs> not, yeah. He didn't go to a different company. He just dropped out. Yeah. He just didn't do it. And I'm like, oh, great. Man. Now I have faith in my. Uh, oh, shit. But that's so funny I, job. when you said his name i was like i don't remember that guy at all yep and that's why because he wasn't there i was though the whole <laughs> summer uh, yeah so i'm assuming he like hooked you up with like parker and all them right yeah okay. he's the one that connected me to parker yeah okay that makes sense so and then <laughs> what happened when he connected you with uh because like did you do like trainings like in utah and, and yeah, stuff i did him in provo the provo office i didn't even know they had a provo office down there it doesn't matter i don't give a shit but <laughs> I, it was actually a really good first meeting too because i met parker of course i met jk i met all of the the big dogs oh the, the head CEO. honchos yeah 
Hindsight's a bitch. (laughs) (laughs) What if I would have just said no? Nah. Yeah, I met them all. It was great. And then I got in a room with my manager and he's like, look, these are the numbers you can put up. This is the potential I see in you. And I said, you're saying that figure right there? All right, that's my number. I'm going to look at that. I'm going to eat, sleep, and dream that number. Man, uh, unrealistic expectations. Yeah, I was nowhere near that number. (laughs) I think it was like 360. Yeah. That's how they get you. They're like, you could easily get like 250 sales this summer, man. So you can do it. You can do it. Yeah. I don't Go even out know. There. But Break 100. You flew out, right? Who picked you up from the airport? Somebody picked me up. Been too long. Because I remember. Four years. I remember it's like when we uh, like first met, we were at the pool. We were already in the pool yeah, just hanging out. I think out it was Dante. Or no, no. It was, uh, it was Parker that picked up Dante. It was I'm someone. Sure. That sounds right. Either way, you just literally got to the place, right? And just like came to. I think you just came to meet everyone at the pool, yeah. right? Just like saying what's up. Yeah. You were by yourself, exactly, right? Exactly. Because we were I, in the yeah, pool. I showed up late. So you showed up. Yeah. How late? Yeah, late. You showed up. Like it wasn't like later. It wasn't that everyone. late. Though. No, it, it was wasn't. Like a few, two weeks maybe. Yeah, maybe like two that. weeks later. Two, three weeks later. Yeah. No, it was one week later because I went out oh, on just the seventh. That was my first day selling. I think. One week later then. Yeah. We went down on the twenty eighth. Started selling like the. 29th, 30th or something. I don't like even that. remember. I remember Same. that pool day too. I walked up and I said, hmm, I don't think I'm going to get along with those guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these guys. <laughs> this is me. I like so distinctly remember just like Parker was like, bro, you can either stay in our apartment or they have room for one. And Parker's back was against me or like yeah, towards me. And I was like, I was like, come with us. I was like, ain't no way, dude. That's a good call. And then you're like, yeah, "Yeah, I'll go with that. (laughs) That was the one good thing Parker said that whole summer. He was like, you guys are going to like Dante. That was the one accurate thing he said. Yeah, for real. And then. I said about everybody, though. Yeah. And then. (laughs) And then then he moved into our apartment. You moved into our apartment with me, Matt, Kaimana, Brock, Diego, and and yourself. That was fun. Let's talk. How did we get recruited? You want to talk about that? I don't remember. Just to tie things in. I just remember. It's the same. Because like they just go to like the universities around the school yeah, and look for young kids to exploit um, <laughs> <laughs> people that don't know shit about summer cells or whatever. But anyway, we were eating food in Shepherd Union at Weber State, right? Yep. And homie just came up to us and was like, I don't remember. I don't remember what he said, Dude, but it was the most random thing in the world because we were honestly just eating. Like we were like at our lunch table, just like eating, doing our own thing. I don't know where this dude Parker just comes, sits down right in front of us. He's like. Hey, man. Hey, <laughs> I got a job offer for you. Uh, okay. <laughs> He's like, you guys look like you guys can talk really well, communicate or something like that. And I was like, uh, I guess. <laughs> you can tell that by just... Yeah, like, literally. Yeah. You look like you talk well, bro. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> and then he was like, let me tell you about what I do. I do summer sales. It was my first year last year. I had 600 accounts. I made 200 grand. So when he told us that, because we were with Chandler too at the time, I think. Or no, we Chandler, Chandler came later, maybe. We were with Michael Phelps for some reason. <laughs> oh, yeah, Michael Michael F- we're with Michael Phelps. That's why. Yeah. Hmm? yeah. Not Michael Phelps. But <laughs> Michael Phelps? <laughs> Not the Michael Phelps, but our homie, Mike. his, his name yeah. was Michael Phelps too. <laughs> Uh, but he was with us for some reason. It was like such a random thing. He was at Weber State. Yeah, because we never saw him. And that was like the first time we were with him. And like, I don't know where Parker just came to us. But yeah, he like started dropping all these numbers saying he was making all this money. And he was telling us like, yeah, you guys could easily make like 45, 50K this summer. Like get 200 accounts. So if you guys were interested, come out with me. Like we'll be doing all these trainings these next couple of weeks. Every Wednesday at like 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m. Just come to the library. We have this room already. And like at first we were like, there's no way. This is like, this is bull. There's no way someone's making this much money. And then I think like a couple of weeks later, we we're like, I just, should we just like, we should send it. Let's go see what it's about. So I think I went first, actually, because you didn't come that first time. But I went to the meeting and I was like, yo, this might be legit. You should come to the next one. (laughs) And then Diego, Diego, (laughs) Diego, so Diego (laughs) really, yeah, Diego. (laughs) me up Loki. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah because i think that was it and i was like all right i'll go check it out like i don't know what the, what the <laughs> hell he was doing he just needed one friend in the oh, friend group. i know that's all i was i, I was like if Everybody i can get one else. of the boys to come with me <laughs> i'm good guy, bro what <laughs> a a recruited him he's under you you make yeah, money off him that like, was so <laughs> stupid man <laughs> i hate great Diego. a pyramid scheme Diego was a, Diego was a piece perfect of Perfect. Hey, Diego. <laughs> anyway, anyway, he got us, and then we ended up. Who did we? Because Parker was always like, "Dude, if you can get like more people, like bro, yeah. like you'll like have people under you, like whatever." I was like, "All right." Yeah. Like, so we well, talked to Brock Bowes. We talked to Matt Rowe. We talked to Kaimana Pearson, and then we talked to Cameron Taft. Cameron Taft. He was the only one who didn't like actually come out with us. What a so, smart guy. Was he the one that took the iPad and didn't pay for it? No. I thought no. I heard of a Cameron doing that. 
Someone took Somebody an else. iPad? That might have been someone else. Oh, okay, okay. No. What if that was a, you with the, the iPad that Parker gave you? No, it was someone that no, didn't come out. Me. Um, I remember hearing Parker talk about it. Really? I oh, that's, it was that's messed up. <laughs> yeah, but listen. Um, <laughs> so, do you remember how, I think Brock was already like trying to come, but Kaimana and Matt were originally going to go out with Vivint. They were going to go to Vivint. Mm. I think Brock was going to go to Vivint too Really? Oh, right, well, either way, yeah. they were all about to go to Vivint and like... I think they were like on the verge of signing their papers and we talked to them. We we're like, hey, hey, no, no, if you're going to sign papers, sign papers with us yeah we're like, come <laughs> with, dude just come with us like whatever and like i don't like uh, who knows what, how it would have turned out if they went to like vivant i mean i, I think, think it would have been the same i think i mean it, i think it's like worse right because it's like way, way harder to get like a contract because they're signing what like two thousand dollar contracts right that's yeah. so you like get a one contract like every two weeks. Yeah, exactly. So it's like way harder. But I don't know. Maybe could have worked. Anyway, we'll never know. But so <laughs> how it happened was we ended up getting them, and then Cameron, and then Chandler was also on the fence too, because Chandler was like Chandler was on the fence, try, wanted to come, but then he ended up backing out, and then Cameron like literally like moved to London like a week before going. Oh wow, he did. And yeah. like two of the smartest guys out there. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh, bro, <laughs> I know Chandler was in the meeting where we signed our paperwork. Yeah, because it was me, Chandler, you, and Parker. And the only reason why we signed the only reason, the only reason why we signed is because Parker told us, I'm guaranteeing you guys will make at least ten thousand dollars. So if you guys make less than that in sales. I will put up the money personally for you guys. And so yeah. he wrote an addendum in our contract saying you guys are guaranteed a $10,000 salary, but he was a sneaky <laughs> about it and wrote salary. We're contracted employees. That's the reason why he wrote salary because we're contracted employees. We don't make money based off of salary. So he was like, yeah. Oh, because I wrote salary, like it's exempt. And that was like at the end of summer or something like that. And so I was, yeah, that was, yeah. that was oh, bullshit, dude. With like, the legalities. Bullshit. It was like, it was insane because yeah, he knew that we were on the fence. Like, Bro, we were just like on the fence. He like pushed us like with that incentive. Like, and we're like, okay, why wouldn't we do it for like yeah. an auto? For like, we'd a, be stupid for like, do it yeah, for, 10K. for like a 10K, you're automatically gonna get no matter what. So I was like, yeah, we'll do it. And then have yeah. the potential to make more. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do that, you know? Cause I was like, all right, this guy, like, yeah. you know? The only he, requirement was that we had to go out August 20 or April 28th and come back August 18th. Yeah, that we was had to the out 100 days. Yeah, and we had we to did. like go out and try to sell like every day, which we did, you know? We, we filled that, like our side of that. Shit. And um, yeah, dude, that was crazy. What a fucking piece of shit. That's <laughs> exactly why I'm becoming a lawyer. Because that guy, bro. No one's ever gonna go over like that again. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> I know. Here. Money making opportunity yeah, yeah. is to uh find these kids that got screwed by some yeah. sales companies. Yeah, but like yeah. also like he like showed us like all of his sh- to like all of his accolades like you know the 200k and i was like bro this guy's gonna make way more this summer to not pay us does that make sense like yeah that would mm-hmm. be pocket change for uh, for him to just give us like 10k i was like all right yeah i believe it like okay he's gonna make a little more money even if we do he did i think he's he made gonna, like 600k yeah he's he, it's gonna be light work for him just to like pay us like that 10k 20k for both of us like i guess like that wasn't the case not the case at all yeah because yeah, i damn. <laughs> i met with him like in december of that year and i i would like talk to him i was like hey man like what about the contract he was like sorry you guys you guys weren't salaried you guys were contracted employees so you guys don't that doesn't apply to you guys crazy bro yeah i had to file like he misrepresented yes i actually filed a complaint with uh the utah department of commission and wages something like that and they told me there wasn't like anything they could do but if i wanted to sue him then i could pursue that avenue which i thought about it but i was scared yeah (laughs) you signed on the dotted line though and that was you, that was my big thing. Even though I had all the contracted stuff, like I had all the paperwork too with like his name, like and the addendum and everything. I was still like worried. I was like, ah, I don't know. That's gonna be like a tough. That could be tough for me. And I might not even an make answer. money. I didn't get an answer. I he gave me JK's number to like that was the escalation. Yeah, yeah. I texted JK like three times, and never got a response. That's f- <laughs> crazy, bro. Not even an explanation as to why I didn't make any money. That's so f- insane, man. Like, cause like here's here's the thing about like all of us, like. Oh, like me, you, Diego, and like Marcos, you had like the best, like overall, like, you know what I mean? Contract value. Like contract, contract value, value and like automatic payments, automatic payments yeah. out of all of us. Like, I mean, obviously it dropped when we went down to like, <laughs> hey, the sales were racking yeah, up. <laughs> the sales were racking up, but like the, the credit card information was going down, but still, even then you were at like a good, like 60% or something like that. Like, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yours was still high up there. Still Ours high. Like, 50, 40. I think Marco's got like 27. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro would never get credit card information. 
right. oh, but man. the problem was that's what they told us too they were like if you guys can't push for it or you don't want to push for it don't worry about it the technician will get that that information dude, dude that was a blatant lie <laughs> the technicians did not grab any of the credit card info yeah, dude. so they'd come out do the service and then the customer just wouldn't pay <laughs> There's no accountability for the technicians. That's a piss oh me off my the most. God, is you would make like I don't know six or eight sales, only two would get serviced. Yeah, that that, that, that just because worse. they didn't show up. Yeah, where they mess up the schedule. Like yeah, that whole entire thing is just. <laughs> yeah, we got <laughs> over hard, man. We got messed up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know it's crazy too because I was like borderline on the verge of going out with them again if I would have gotten paid what I'd been promised. I would have just gone out again because it would have been worth it to me. Yeah. yeah, but because I didn't get paid, I was like, I I can't do this. No, not I'm, at all. It's not worth it at all. Not at all. Fool me once, shame on you. Yeah. Fool me twice, can't put the blame yeah, on you. Yeah. <laughs> the wise Shut words. The f- Oh. J. Cole. <laughs> okay. yeah, you're I J. get Cole. copyrighted for that. Uh, in no kidding. way. There's I quoted no him way. at least. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah um, did I tell you that I squeezed another like 1500 from Parker at the, end of the summer? You did. At the end of like December or whatever. The f-ing audacity of him though was like, bro, dude, hey, y'all are going to make this money back next year. Like, you know what I mean? Like oh right after the God. summer. Just try it one more time. Yeah, it's like, dude, just do it one more time. Like, dude, I got you this time. I got your back, whatever. And I was like, you dude and then like he he was like dude if you sign this like we'll give you a bonus like for the next year like if you sign this like now we'll like give you a bonus we'll give you an adv- i'll give you an advance and i was like okay and so i signed it and i was like give me the advance and he gave me 1500 bucks and i never went out like i didn't talk to him at all after that did he hit you up a lot no <laughs> <laughs> you won that one i won that one but <laughs> not as much as like we should have been making dude, honestly like i squeezed a little bit out of him but that dude how much did you make overall i i couldn't tell you because i remember exactly what i made i made one thousand three hundred dollars for a hundred <laughs> days of work <laughs> i think i was still, i think i made like eleven hundred twelve hundred the worst part is they were always like look you get what was it like 50 per service or 100 per service yeah you get you get a um, 100 or 100 no you got 50 bucks up front for every service yeah and then it if was, you hit a certain mark you get a hundred dollars that's up what it was yeah that's mm-hmm. that's what it is bro three hundred dollars a week because <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, nah, the, the crazy though, thing is like we still had to pay rent out there so like the first 10 sales that we made went straight to rent because those yeah. 50 bucks for every sale just went straight to rent so anything after those 10 sales is what we had to live on dude and two weeks i did we i didn't have any money going out in the summer i was broke as f- I've never been so oh, broke in my me, life, dude. Me like, either. holy shit. We would go to Walmart like every like two weeks, right? And yeah. just like ration our stuff. Yeah. We it was like cereal. <laughs> it was like top ramen. Top dude, ramen eggs. Diego and oh, eggs. Not, that's it. <laughs> that was it, dude. And then That's I insane. had like, yeah, peanut butter and like just sandwiches, dude. Like, oh my God. <laughs> nah, the best is after a hard working week, Monday through Saturday, we we're supposed to get that barbecue going. Oh my Sundays, God, bro. Bring your own meat after yeah. the second week. Bro, <laughs> like, we got no money to buy meat. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this dude was like, yeah, hey, dude. He was like talking to all the about all these like incentives throughout the summer. Oh, we're going to do this. We're going to have so mm-hmm. much fun like as a team. You know what I mean? We're going to go out. <laughs> Do top golf, whatever, go go karts, like whatever it was. Every week we'll have barbecues with the team, free food, whatever. And then this motherfucker was like, "But bring your own meat." <laughs> <laughs> right, the bro, the and then and then yeah. And after it. that, we're like, Fuck that we're not going. Like we got yeah, to never watch the barbecues money. again after that. We would just sit and play video games all day on Sunday because we were too tired to do anything else. Dude, yeah, <laughs> bro, we were tired because we had no food in us, and That's we'd true. just been walking all week. And yeah, we didn't do. Shit it that summer other than hang out the apartment like we didn't go we out had no money to do anything yeah. we couldn't we do anything to the club one time we did go to the club or one time twice. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that soon yeah yeah <laughs> we went to the club one time yeah dude i went out that summer i think weighing about 154 pounds and i came back at like 129 oh <laughs> bro Diego. i was so skinny dude hey, poverty is the best diet and yeah 100 degree weather that's all summer dude, that's, 10 got, hours that's, got, that's gotta be like some some weird like health code violation for company right you know what i mean like well, it's, it's gotta be like nourished yeah <laughs> it was bad man it was bad i was i was at like my sophomore weight dude that's fucking crazy dude that's so Awful. that's so good funny <laughs> <laughs> you brought up the club. Which club we go to? We went to one of the highest rated strip clubs in Dallas. We did. I don't remember the name of it. XTC. 
I remember. Do you really? <laughs> <laughs> I think that was my first time at a strip club. That was my first time too. That was crazy. That was Isaac's like fourth time. No, I think that was my first time going to an actual. <laughs> act, like I think inside. it was all of our first mm. times. Yeah, actually, it was me, you, Marcos, came Marcos, with us. and Juan. Remember Juan? Oh, that's right. Juan. Remember did Alonso come? No. Okay. I yeah, I think it was. I think it was gone by then. I remember walking in. It was like late, and like it was crazy because we were only eighteen at the time. Nineteen. 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 Our brothers. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, we had to put the little the wristbands on. on. You guys About did that. it, though. Okay, so <laughs> I walk into the guy's checking IDs, hand him my ID. He goes, 91? <laughs> I was born in 98. He's like, 91? Looked at me, and I was like, what? <laughs> He's like, it marks my hand. Yeah. So I could have bought alcohol. You and right? Juan, right? Because Juan was 21 at Juan the time. Was, Juan was 21. Was, okay. Marcos yeah. wasn't, right? He wasn't quite no. 21, I think. I think he was. I thought we celebrated his birthday while we were out. We did celebrate his birthday when he was out there. Was he turning we had Pozole at No, I think he was 21, though. He was 21. Yeah. So it was just me and Diego wasn't. And well, you, I wasn't, but, but I, <laughs> I didn't even buy any alcohol. But, uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, it was like a it was like a $20 cover fee to like get in. And I was like, God Dude, damn. I'm not going to lie. That hurt because we had like $40 Oh to my spend. God, bro. How far money went to the fee? <laughs> Dude, f***ing, <laughs> and like, it was like, it was low key, like such a waste of time. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we were God. there and I was like, this sucks. Like, I don't sucks. like the concept of strip clubs. Yeah. I was you like, there oh. to get hard. Yeah, dude. And that's it. You leave. Uh, it, <laughs> like, it, what, such a stupid idea. <laughs> bro, it sucked. Cause like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like it was like probably the nicest one I've been to. Right. Like as far as, you know, yeah. like aesthetic, like it's, it was big, you know, yeah. like really nice. Bougie. Like, you know what I mean? But God, you got to have money to spend there, dude. Like, <laughs> Yeah, we were just like Even sitting then, there. You could spend your money on it was crazy because we were just sitting there, just like awkwardly, just like because I think it's like every because yeah. it's like everyone's first time except Juan. I think Juan was the only one that's like been, and we we're just like, yeah, this is sick. <laughs> <laughs> we're like literally like us sitting as we are like right now, but we we're just kind of like sitting there like yeah, or like looking around, and just like a bunch of like naked girls around us. We're just like we all got lap dances, all right? I did, I did, yeah, Isaac didn't, you and did the too? I did, yeah. <laughs> Isaac didn't, but the reason for it was because like the girl came and she was like. <laughs> She was like, had like her butt like to Isaac. She was like trying to dance like against your back or something like that. <laughs> Bro. And you just like took your, you took all the money you had and you just went. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I got, I got so Panic. nervous. <laughs> she, yeah. She just, dude, she just, she just knew, man. She just knew like how like, she you know, you. she just knew. And I was just like, it was crazy because her butt was just like pushing up against yeah, me. And I was like. Shoulder. The fuck am I doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> I was like this, and I was like, "All right, let me just get all these ones." <laughs> I didn't know what to do, man. I was like so nervous, and then I wasted all that money on that, and she picked it up and left. <laughs> <laughs> just walked away. And then, um, oh. and Juan oh. didn't either. It was only me and Juan that didn't. Everyone else did. But anyway, we spent all of our money that we had no right to spend. <laughs> No right to spend, bro. <laughs> and then ration after, extra heavy that week. Yeah, and then <laughs> we gotta get into the stories though. We got some crazy stories. I have two crazy stories. You do have some of the crazy stories. <laughs> should, we, should we share the main it's story? It's let's let's the, share the, the main, the stories. wildest one, man. I <sighs> give you some insight on what happens behind the scenes in summer sales. summer sales, man. <laughs> Here's the. You know what's crazy is I didn't have any crazy stories like you guys. I don't think like I'm just like it was fine. Everyone was cool to me. Nothing happened. Oh, there was obviously just. Fucking racist ass customers though, bro. True. One time I knocked on this fucking like, and it was like when we were in the nicer neighborhoods. Yeah. So yeah. right, and we were in fucking Texas. Like Jesus, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, this fucking guy opens the door and was like, "What the f do you want?" And I was like, "Bro, relax." I'm like, I didn't even start talking yet. I was like, "Oh, how's it going?" You know, and I like kind of like blew that off. I was like, "Oh, how how you doing, man?" You know, this isn't that going through my pitch. He's like, "Get the f off my porch, spick. and I was like, "Oh." <laughs> I was like, bro, what? What did I? You overcame that objection, right? Yeah, I was like, I was like, (laughs) Parker would (laughs) have. I was like, so you have a company, right? So by the way, yeah, I'm doing it dirt cheap, you know. No, oh, he, he just like yeah, just like came after me, and I was like, I don't even know what to do. I was like, I'm fucking out. This guy probably has a gun, like you know. Yeah, I'm out. I don't play with that in Texas, bro. Yeah, I was like, I'm out. Dude, like, everybody right, in Texas oh, have a good the- day, sir. You <laughs> stupid fucking piece of shit. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, everybody in Texas, they all have those uh, signs on their doors that say, "We shoot first, ask questions later." <laughs> <laughs> And they don't tread on me, and I'm like, yeah, I'm knocking on that door. Yeah. I'm like, let me let me knock on this one. <laughs> it's the the no soliciting sign. Just 
ring the bell, knock like 10 times and run. <laughs> yeah. I love Just when they're like, did you not see the sign? Oh, no. No, I didn't. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it was like a few of those stories. Like I have a few like really cool stories of like people that I met, but that's it. Not like crazy stories like you guys. <laughs> oh, miss me with that stuff. I'll go first. Go for it. All right. My favorite story. <laughs> I'll never forget Mario. <laughs> Yep. If you see this, <laughs> please don't contact me. <laughs> so, this is probably about halfway through the summer. A yeah, bit bro. <laughs> uh, we were knocking in <laughs> southern Dallas, I, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, I hated my neighborhood, I remember, because it was all old people and old white like people. The yeah. Worst it, to sell to. It's, they, don't, they don't open the door. They're not there during the day. Like, it was horrible. I'm pretty sure it was like a Friday or Saturday. And uh, I wasn't feeling very motivated. I got a whole bunch of no's, right? And finally, I got past like that first soft close. Yeah, yeah. I soft closed him and it worked, right? So let me set the scene. <laughs> I knock on the door <laughs> and I give my pitch. And I said, we're doing it for super cheap. And he said, how much? And I was like, we're in. I'm like, I gotta sell this guy. <laughs> yeah. the first one of the day. It was like 1 p.m. It was hot. He invited me and he's like, oh, you look hot. Like, come in, right? I was like, okay, cool. So I sat down. We're talking, talking the contract. But then he would just like randomly like stop the conversation and he'd be like, hey man, like you look pretty fit. Like, what did you, did you play sports? Like football, soccer? I'm like, yeah, I played soccer. He's like, oh, cool, cool, right? Go back to the pitch. Yeah. Still pitching him and walking through the contract and he's like, you have really nice skin. Like, where are you from? Uh, yeah. I was like, oh, I'm from, I'm from Salt Lake or whatever, blah. And then I gave him like, you know, my uh, family's history. And so... He's like, oh, yeah, cool, right? But, like, it was just little, little questions Some here and there, things. right? But then he circled back to the skin thing, and I'm like, it's a little weird, but, <laughs> yeah, okay. Like, I'll right. take it. I, I, I need the boost right now. Guy. I got to sell him. <laughs> whatever it takes. Well, whatever. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I remember we're getting to the contract, and I remember we were sitting in his kitchen. Oh. I stood up, and I was like, all right, is there anything else you need? Bro. He's like, oh, yeah, come over here. He's like, yeah, this is where the ants are coming in. I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll make sure I tell the technician about that. And so I was like, all right, you have my phone number because you got to give them the phone number because if they have any issues and they want to cancel, yeah. you got to talk to them directly. Otherwise, yeah. they're just going to be like, okay, you want to cancel? Bye. Yeah. Serious, it's the worst. And so I remember giving him my number and I was like, yeah, you have my phone number. Text me if you have any issues or whatever. Right? He's like, all right, cool. Right. I turn around and I start walking out the door and I'm like walking to the living room and he's like, hey, Dante. And I'm like, yeah. And I turn around. He's like, shit, you not. This is what he said. He said, can I suck your dick for money? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I said, I said, huh? <laughs> what? You want to do what for money? <laughs> He's like, can I suck your dick for money? I was like, uh, nah, bro. Like, it's almost lunchtime. My friends are going to come pick me up. Like, I got to go. Like, no, no, no. I, I can't. I got to go, right? Oh and he's like two fifty, and I'm like, oh my god, two fifty? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. In the back of my head, I was like, okay, I gotta humor him a little bit because I gotta get this. Thing. I already sold him. <laughs> yeah. I don't want him to back out of the contract. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so um, when he said two fifty, and he kept pushing, I said, let me think about it. <laughs> he's like, oh, where do you like where you're staying? I was like, oh, we're staying in Fort Worth. And he's like, oh my god. All right, yeah, I'll send an Uber. Whoa, he's dude. Like, what, what time are you off? And I'm like. I I don't know, like nine, ten. Like yeah. I'm just trying to like make him think I'm somewhat interested because I wanted that damn sale. Yeah, right. And so he's like, "Okay, cool. Yeah, just uh, I'll, t I'll text you when you're off." Bro. Right? Said, All right, bro. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he did indeed text me. Yeah. And do you still have his number? Nah. nah. <laughs> I had a Samsung. I was like, we should then. text him. <laughs> oh, I lost all my contacts, so I had a Samsung back then. But yeah, he, he ended up texting me, and he was trying to push for it, right? And I humored him for a good 24 hours. Wow. I was like, oh, I can't tonight, but I, maybe tomorrow night, right? Because he was getting serviced the next day. Yeah. yeah. He got serviced. I blocked him. <laughs> I was done. I was that's, like, no, no, no. It can't happen. Oh, man. You're gaslighting him, bro. <laughs> that's I'm sorry, Mario, but it ain't for me. <laughs> the crazy thing is, like, I would never have guessed that he'd want it that. Like, yeah. he, he had pictures of his family up there. Dude, like, yeah, when you told me that, <laughs> that was crazy. Guys. That's crazy, yeah. And, Gosh. you know, he did have a disability. So in the moment, I was like, okay, well, I'm not fearing for my life. Yeah. Like I'm yeah. going to get away from him. You're like, this doesn't like, get out. Yeah. It's not one of those situations, but yeah, I was like, that's crazy. Nah. Like why, why me? Yeah. Why me? Cause you're a cute guy. Dante That's why. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's shout so out funny. Mario real quick. I wonder how Mario's doing real quick. I think I only that, got that. So that's gotta be, the, that's gotta be the funniest story ever, bro. I was, I remember you telling us, I was, like, we, we were, we all, all thought you were, we, were all joke. You, we all thought no. you were lying. No. And I was I like, would God. never make that up yeah and i was like that is funny as shit. <laughs> God, 
good one right there. Yeah, I think the craziest experience I had was, I think we were still like in Southern Texas, like in Southern Dallas. And I was going to like a, a neighborhood that was kind of like run down. Like a lot of the houses were kind of like beat up, but they weren't like too bad. Like it wasn't like, oh, this is like going to be too like destroyed. Like these people are too poor to like, like want like service or need a service. And I remember there was like one house where it was kind of like way like further, like into like some trees it was kind of like on like a broken, like crumbly sidewalk. And I was like, should I go knock this house? Whatever. I'm, I'm going to just go knock it. I like went and I knocked. And it's like one of those houses where like the door isn't like a normal door. It's like a what plywood. It? Yeah, it's like plywood. Uh -huh. It's like a plywood door. <laughs> and I was like, this could be a huge mistake. <laughs> but I like knock on the door and nobody answers for a couple of seconds. And so I was like, all right, I gave it a try. Like, I'm going to I'm going to walk away now and like start walking away. And I hear the door like. <laughs> like open <laughs> and so i turn around and i look oh my god dude it was an old lady but she was completely naked oh my god I mean, she looked dude. so grimy so oh, grubby too and she was just like completely like dude i thought she was a witch oh my god I, <laughs> dude, I, and Gretel? Yeah, yeah, dude, dude i'm not gonna lie. think the same thing i'm not gonna lie i was i was like oh I, i'm good i'm good yeah. sorry i didn't mean to bother you i just like started walking away as fast as i could oh my god dude. she didn't say anything no she didn't say anything she just stood there and like <laughs> god and she was just like standing there like this like she was a witch. Yeah, dude. Yeah, might have been a witch. <laughs> I was I was scared. I was like, uh, oh, bro, me. I probably would have been running. Like, <laughs> I'm out. She's old, bro. She's not gonna catch him, dude. For real. Who he knows? Twenty maybe, pounds lighter. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe she was a witch, though. She would get him. That's true. Cast, Cast a, spell a spell on me, bro. Yep. I'm out. I can't do that. Um, yeah. What if Diego went missing, and that was the reason? Bro, that would be <laughs> insane. You're putting a stew. <laughs> Here's one thing I do remember. Funniest part of this of the summer was me. <laughs> Marcos would drive, right? Yeah. Shout out Marcos. <laughs> Bro, I know where you're going. So he would drive and we would always drop you guys off at your areas. <laughs> In the fucking middle. Oh, dude, it's like 90, 95 degrees out there. 100 y'all are working your ass off. <laughs> Me and Marcos would chill in the car for hours. Just like fucking. Guys, we're the worst. We were just listening to music, talking. Like on our phone, just like watching videos, whatever it was. Nah, I was nah, nah, what, what videos were you watching? Uh, probably Jerry Springer. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. But that was that was with all of us. So so so, bro. And y'all would come back for lunch with no sales, and we we didn't have sales either. And then after lunch, and then after lunch, we drop you guys back off, chill for a few more hours, go out for like thirty minutes to get like two cells. Uh, uh, you guys played the system, dude. Because like the way it works is like we get assigned neighborhoods. You guys never went to your assigned never, neighborhood, bro. Nope. You guys were like, "Where's the Hispanics? We're just gonna go there, oh, bro." The and then yeah. so and then, smart. Oh man, yeah, we would just look for the Hispanic neighbors, neighborhoods and be like, "Hola, hola, cómo estás?" That was Diego. Dude, every time Diego would open a door, or uh, Hispanic, my favorite. Hispanic, Hispanic person would open a door for Diego. Hola, hola, hola como, como estas? Bro, what? <laughs> bro, I'd catch the by surprise. It was so goddamn funny. Bro, tell about the time when... Uh, because <laughs> you know how, like how they taught us like you know ice break you know yeah, kind of like, yeah, be yeah. funny you know kind of bro that one lady <laughs> that guy <Bro. laughs> so I would tell a joke like almost every time I this went to the is door the funniest and I'd been using the same joke for like weeks now and it'd been working on everybody <laughs> and this dude was like walking with me that day and I went like from I think it was like three or four doors like I went like door to door and I used the same joke everybody laughed bro Everybody was laughing. And then I went to one house. I knocked on the door. I made my joke. And the lady was so straight faced. She was like, was that supposed to be funny? <laughs> <laughs> bro, I heard Isaac laughing behind me. I was crying. Bro, I was dying laughing, dude. Diego just, just got Diego just got fucked. No, Diego tried, tried, to, keep tried to keep going. Tried to keep going. He was like. I forgot. You probably, I don't remember. I tried to keep going. You probably, but she was said, so like serious, a, you probably said like another joke, and she just like was not having it. And I was like Hilarious. just crying. And I was laughing. like, "All right, have a good day." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, remember how dude. many callbacks Diego said he would have, and how sad he was when he came back when he had seventeen callbacks. <laughs> he came back, he's like, I "Got one." I got one too. <laughs> he's like, "Bro, I, I think I'm gonna end up with fifteen today." Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, that was crazy. Just I think my best day back. was seven though. That was my best day ever. Pretty good. That's cute. I think <laughs> only five of those got surfaced. Five? That's that's good. For five out of seven? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Percentage. That's how 
good. Yeah. Only for that day. Most of the time, though, like, if I ever had, like, three or four, like, scheduled to be serviced, well, like one, one would get yeah. serviced, bro. It was yeah. the worst. Oh, oh man. <laughs> That's bad. Oh, no, dude. Another time too, because uh, Hawks was like partnered with Bayer. Mm -hmm. And so that was like one of our big selling points was like, we would tell people, oh yeah, we're partnered with Bayer. Like they made like the Flintstone vitamins and gummies and stuff like that. And so there was one time where like I went to someone's door and I was oh, yeah. knocking, <laughs> I knocked on their door and I was like, yeah, like we're like a really like good way to do pest control because we're partnered with Bayer. So like, you know, we're, we're like a healthier company, Flintstone vitamins and stuff like that. And <laughs> this lady was a nurse and she was like, you guys are partnered with Bayer? That doesn't make me feel good. That scares me. Oh, oh. <laughs> gets fucked, dude. Yeah, what if I told you that I'm not partnered with yeah. Bayer? <laughs> oh, wait, did I say Bayer? I meant... Okay. Bayer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But the best part about the summer is was like us hanging out in the car, just watching Jerry Springer yeah. all day, dude. Like, out of oh, just man. watching YouTube, like, and Very then going lunch. to hey, Rice so Bowl fun. Express. Oh, Bro, Rice Bowl Express rivaled. Crazy. It's so good. It's it's like how much was it? It was like five it was like bucks. It was bucks, super five bucks for fucking god. Good shit, man. So good, so tasty, bro. We oh. went there for a week straight, dude. Yeah, that and the uh, what was the CC's? Oh yeah, CC's pizza. pizza. All man. you can eat when it was like crazy. six bucks too, man. Dude, that it was so that cheap buffalo there. pizza is insane. It's insane. Like it's so good. I oh, loved man. it. The best. I got a story, but we'll probably cut this one out. <laughs> Why? Do you remember? Uh, when you had Tinder. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. This is Patreon content. Oh, <laughs> no, nah, no. Nah. I'm just kidding. We can't, we can't go out here talking about that. <laughs> While and out. That was like city boys at its highest, bro. I know. That's kind of crazy. That really was city boy hours. <laughs> bro. Oh, hold on. Let me tell you about this other one. The funniest one that killed me. Me and Austin Housekeeper. The pizza. Oh. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Wait, we gotta give context first. Okay, all right. Okay. So, bro, Parker, Sheen. Fucking, yeah. So, like, as everyone started leaving, you know, like deciding to summer sales one of their thing, apartments would get would become vacant, and so like everyone would have to move in to like yeah, into one another. You know, yeah. kind of like consolidate. So we ended up moving into his apartment, and. King, <laughs> this dude, we had no idea what he was like, like living with, right? So this motherfucker would come home with two boxes of pizza, bro, every night, a fucking bottle of sangria, chug that shit like it was goddamn water, bro, <laughs> yeah. and then eat like five pieces of, no, more, bro. He, he would eat the whole box. I thought he'd eat a box and he then put the box, box away. away. Yeah, so he would yeah. eat the box, put the box in the oven to keep it like, I guess, like, I don't in the know. oven, bro. yeah, in whatever. The fridge. I don't know. Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> Safety 101. Literally, I was like, what are you doing? So like, he put it in the oven, and then one of these nights, because he would stay with his like his at the time fiance. Yeah, he had a fiance at the time. Like, at, oh, R.I.P. Yeah, she she died. She died. Cut uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so at the time he wouldn't be there, and he would bring. He brought like that night. He brought like pizza, dropped it off like for him to eat later on. <laughs> We were so hungry because we didn't have money. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Housekeeper were like, F this, dude. <laughs> so we like took, I think he ate a few pieces. So like it, like it balanced itself out. Yeah. So what we did was like take the new pizza, <laughs> switch it with the old pizza <laughs> and eat all the new pieces. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> so and that the the old pizza would be in there for like a week <laughs> in the oven, like ow, f gross, right? <laughs> I remember him being there and like us like watching him eat it. Like I think we were like, oh shit, he's gonna know. <laughs> Cause we were like all doing something in the living room, whatever. And like he like he's like, oh let me just eat this piece really quick. And we were just like, oh f here we go. Like, we were like, oh shit. We were like all meat off. So we're just like, oh shit. <laughs> so, like, he eats it. He, he was like, <laughs> his reaction was like, oh. What the fuck? And he was like, this this tastes. <laughs> he said, <laughs> "This is <tastes> kind of weird." <laughs> you know, he chewed his mouth. <laughs> Talk with oh his mouth. God. The it was the worst. <laughs> oh God, dude! <laughs> you were, God, <laughs> that would kill me. Uh, that would got me one of the foot. I'm, I'm crying right now. <laughs> Oh my so god. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, yo, this tastes weird. <laughs> oh 
Holy crap. <laughs> me and Alex we were crying like oh my god. I think all of us were on, in on it, so Dude, we all we knew. All knew. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good one. <laughs> yeah, the mother who <laughs> deserved it. I can't imagine oh what he's god. gonna <laughs> say to himself when he sees this. <laughs> if he ever sees this. Dude, oh. For real. Oof. Oh, good man. Sh- good man. Dude, that, was that- good. <laughs> That reminds me of like the time where I bought like a bunch of chicken and do you remember I bought a bunch of chicken and I was so stupid bro this, this was frozen chicken and I didn't know it was frozen I thought it had already been cooked yeah, and all I needed was, to do like, was thought it was like chicken nugget stuff bro I put this in the microwave I put it on high for two minutes I eat my chicken the first day I'm like it's not it's not, it's not the worst not the no, worst thing in the whole world <laughs> the next day I do it again it tastes way worse I'm like I can't do this Isaac do you want this this man could have had some no it was like two, it was like two straight days of him eating that <laughs> me just eating raw chicken he <laughs> spread it or was this chicken? no no was it even breaded no bro just all ass chicken breasts <laughs> No, because they're like buffalo like, wings. Yeah, sort of it was thing. like oh, a little. Okay. They're like buffalo, like chicken nugget sort of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap! They they were British, right? So it kind of looked, but you that's had, fair. So you had to like cook them in the oven to like cook them up. Actually, right? cook them, dude. Oh, I put them in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> I tried one. I was like, what the f- is this, bro? This is gross. <laughs> Oh, I think no. the reason why I got away with it was because I put ketchup on them. <laughs> so I was like, yes. <laughs> the raw flavor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Diego. Oh, dude. Oh, man. Dumbass. My Diego. stupidest experience. Diego's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Isaac, I think you might like these. <laughs> <laughs> and my dumb ass was like, let me try one. <laughs> but like the first mile I knew, I was like, this is gross what are you doing <laughs> oh that was so funny to me good shit, man dude the other thing too is like you guys i don't know what it was you guys were on like a binge or like a bend or somewhere like you guys would pretend like you guys had guns with your ipads oh my. and like i'd be walking you guys would be like like pretending to like shoot me and i remember i was walking i think you guys were all in the car yeah diego was playing along and i was pretending to shoot him with like you know so like pretending to shoot him in the car while he was walking getting in the car yeah and i shot him and he was like you know playing dead gets shot fall like, puts his puts face, his like yeah, yeah. Like face plant myself <laughs> onto the hood of the car bro it's like 90 <laughs> it's like 110 <laughs> on that like dude it's 110 outside and it's metal uh, a metal <laughs> hood is, i was not thinking at all i'm just like like <laughs> it's like 300 <laughs> degrees bro it's dude, just what <laughs> it was a video dude that you should post it I got the video. I'll post the video. Yeah, post that video. There was that moments like that. God, I thought funny. Diego was a d- crackhead. <laughs> dude, dude's insane. Remember you would like dude, grab I his was. head and shake his head in the car? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was it an ultimate by Denzel Curry? Yeah. Oh my God, I yeah. I saw the video. Oh, what's up? <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, this thing was crazy. Remember when and I would pick you up or like, dude, yeah. I remember I, I, like yeah. that video where I'd choke you? <laughs> dude, I'm gonna post all these videos. Dude, yeah, <laughs> that one kills me. Diego's insane. Dude, when Marcos, uh, he would like pick you up, yeah, like, by the throat. <laughs> yeah, he picked me up, and I like, I like put my arm like on his arm and like push myself. So yeah, it looked like, like he was actually picking me up. <gasps> Holy <laughs> shit! Holy <laughs> shit! It was, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. so dude, I was funny. being a cracker that summer because like. I remember one time it was like an hour to get back to like our our apartment for the entire hour. I was just like stirring oh, in I the back that. of the seat, bro. I was just going like this for an hour, bro, for trying like to see how long I could do. Two it. hours. This guy was doing this, like for <laughs> and for what? Like for what reason? Yeah, for real. Yeah, <laughs> no, no way for it too. Yeah, we weren't getting anything out of that. <laughs> yeah, literally you got mild like enjoyment. Oh. Yeah, then all of a sudden Stirring you get my shoulder. Fuck arm and i was like what was the re- what was the reason for that diego <laughs> that was uh the sleep deprivation creeping in for real. <laughs> was, oh no dude do you remember i don't know if you remember this but uh actually you probably do you you definitely oh i'm gonna i'm gonna put a pin in that i, I didn't even start i'm gonna put a pin in it what 
Dante was uh, my roommate. Oh back in yeah, dude. Back, yeah, back in uh, back in Texas, and uh, uh. Dante has this thing where he likes to talk in his sleep, <laughs> and he's a sleepwalker, yeah. and he likes to get up in and the middle that of the night. Which is crazy I don't normally sleepwalk. Dude, I oh sleep talk all the time. God, sleepwalking dude, that was a new thing. Yeah, dude. Bro. For like weeks, I'd be like asleep and I'd hear Dante be like, yeah, we'll, t- we'll take care of that for you. <laughs> <laughs> Dante, who are you talking to? <laughs> be like, yeah, we'll be back out tomorrow. <laughs> dude was living his sales in his dreams. <laughs> it was actually nice. Tell him about yeah. that one time. The craziest thing one time was like, it was like 1 a.m. in the morning. And I just hear Dante like saying something. I'm like, Dante, go back to bed. And like, I, he's just like still talking, like doing whatever. And so I like, <laughs> I look at the time. It's 1:30 a.m. in the morning. And I look at Dante. And I'm like, Dante, I'll, like shut. And I like stop as like as soon as I turn because Dante's just sitting up on his bed like this. <laughs> <laughs> He is sitting on the edge of his bed like Bro. this. And I'm like, Dante? Uh, <laughs> and then you're like, yeah, well, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. That's like what you're saying. And then you like get up and you go to the drawer. <laughs> you go to the dresser and you open the drawer and you close it. You open it. You close it. You open it. You close it. You close it. Dude. You what? Dude, I was so scared. <laughs> that Dude. was the only one I remember waking up. I woke up were, at the dresser. I was like, I know. I looked at Dante. Daniel. I'm like, he looked terrified. Finally, like, <laughs> I went back to bed. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> Dante's fucking possessed, bro. Oh my god, dude, that's crazy. <laughs> that was insane. This dude's, in, this dude's insane. Oh my dude. god. Do you I, know what the other crazy thing is? Sorry to cut you off. I did. <laughs> so when we like had our original apartment, it was like nice in there. Like we had it at like the perfect temperature. <laughs> like everything was oh. nice and nice and beautiful. Because <laughs> all I took out that summer, I took one blanket with me, and it was the thinnest blanket <laughs> it's in the, the little, world. It's a little. It's a baby like, blanket. It's like dude. a towel, basically. It was <laughs> yep. so thin. And so like in our original apartment, I was so comfy with that. And then we finally <laughs> like when we consolidated and like we moved to Parker's apartment, this dude had the apartment at fifty degrees. Bro. <laughs> yeah. it was no joke, 50 degrees. Bro, I had the worst time of my life. I had to go grab people's towels yeah. and uh, <laughs> like bro, wrap up in them. There was like one specific morning where it was like below 50. Bro, everyone was like, what the <laughs> f***? <laughs> we want to get dude, out of here. It was oh. like, God, it was like, we could see like our breath. It was oh, so dude, cold. That one was so cold. Like, oh, this man. guy's a psychopath. <laughs> he really was. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. We woke up like, what the f***? Dude, it's freezing. <laughs> Good shit right there, though, Crazy man. Crazy stuff, oh, man. I miss stuff. it. I miss I parts it's of it. It's fun. Yeah, it's fun, like, living in that environment with all the boys. Because it's it's almost like a frat, bro. Like, it's, it's like all these college dudes just having fun, hanging out. It's it's honestly such it's, a vibe. It's, it's yeah, it's such a, yeah, it's, like, such a good way to just, like, you know, hang out with the boys and grow with one another, right? Because you're going through it. Like, yeah, you're, you're going, going through it. You're through going it, through man. it together. Yeah. Not making any money. <laughs> Adversity at its finest. Yeah, literally it's being worse. out in the sun for hours. Yeah, man. Now look at us four years later. I know. Still going on trips together. Still hanging Dude, out. Dude, I love it. Um, I know. We're filming this podcast right now, right before we're uh, leaving on the trip to Oregon. They got to know where we're going. We're, we're going to Portland. Where we, where we went. Where we will be. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> this will probably come out in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I do respect about Summer Cell is like, I don't know. It does like. It built of, my character. Yeah, it, yep. builds, it builds character and like, I don't know. Your work ethic, your work <laughs> ethic, you're just like oh, yeah. discipline a little bit more. And like, and I do believe that there's like money like to be made for there sure. There is, yeah. There were some like, people that definitely made money. Like for sure. The RMs, sure, you know? RMs that were already used to knocking doors. Yeah. Did really well. Yeah. Like there's definitely yeah. well, there some was a money couple people it. that came out with us that made like 15K, like yeah. 20K. So there's definitely some money to be made. Just God damn it. It's just if you don't want to be scammed, don't fucking. Or yeah, know what you're be, signing. Be really careful with what you sign if you're going to yeah. go out and do summer sales. Yeah. It's a lot of uh, hype is what they're going to do. They're going to oversell you, and then they're going to underpromise. So you got to be careful. But if you do it well, you can do it. Yeah. Sure. How many sales did you end up with? I don't remember. hundred and something. How many did you end up with? I don't even remember. You might have had more than me. No. You were... Oh. No. It hit, did I have the most? No, because he, cause he, was, he was below, but had like the best... Oh yeah, so you're probably the like best in the payouts. 80s. It was probably like high eighties for you. Yeah, I think you were like in probably the eighties. But you had, but you had the contract had value the higher. Service, you I had think, the right? service mm-hmm. contract value and the the credit card yeah, information. Yeah. So like, I think you overall did better than all of us because like Fair, we did because we did have more sales. Yeah, but it was a lot just of them fell through. yeah, a lot of them oh, fell yeah. through, and like the credit card information that yeah. didn't get. I, I probably had like one hundred seventeen sales. I think I had like one hundred and eighty or something. I'm kidding. <laughs> I think I got. I think I had two more than you, Diego. Yeah, 
I lied to you guys. You did not I have two more than me. Summer. Yeah. yeah, Marcos had the most. He had like 150, I think. Yeah, but he none of the money. Dude, <laughs> dude got yeah. 21. Dude, I think dude was like like 18%. Uh, what's it called? A-pay? At one point. Oh, yeah, AP. Dude. Oh, man. Uh, he did not get a single credit card. <laughs> <laughs> well, for real. Moral of the story here is if you're going to do summer sales, get the automatic payment so you don't get anything screwed up with your pays. Or get paid before. Get paid beforehand. That's like actually what you ended up doing. The yeah. next summer you went out with a different company. And I got paid. I actually got paid. Like, I did good. That's crazy, huh? You Can you imagine like, if we would have gone out with him? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You guys should have came because, like... That's right. how it should have been for us the first No, because Housekeeper hooked me up with the homie, um, Vic, and he told them what happened, what Parker did to me, and then Vic yeah. was like, bro, yeah, that sounds like the worst shit. He's like, I'll give you 5K up front. Like That's right now, five times more than you. And I was like, I yeah. And, he, and he, so he gave me the check, and I was like, okay, I'm not oh, yeah. gonna not go out. Why not? And I was like, yeah, this is a, easily worth it. And I had a good time. It was a smaller team, and like it was what I wanted yeah. it to be. Like in, how it should have been in yeah. Texas. Okay, like I wish right? you guys would have came with, because that would have been the best summer ever. Talks left a bad taste in my mouth. I could yeah. do it again. Yeah. yeah. No, I get it, dude. Talking about housekeeper though, I'm gonna finish off with this real quick. You and housekeeper, man. After you guys saw Mama Mia. God damn, bro. Me and Dante be trying to sleep. It'd be like 10, 30 p.m., 11, Mm -hmm. 12 p.m. You guys be like coming into our room. Dude, Blasting music. Bro, we were on that Mama Mia 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 dancing. Dancing all over. Oh, my God. Y'all got videos, right? I do got the videos. Dude, it I'm went all the videos. It right went now. crazy, man. We saw Mamma Mia because Mamma Mia. It was the second one that came yeah. out, and we were we went to the theater because I love the first Mamma Mia, bro. We went to the theater, just a bunch of moms. We were the only guys there. It was a bunch <laughs> of moms, like forty year old, thirty year old, like just a bunch of moms, and we we're like, oh. This goes crazy and then we couldn't stop listening to the soundtrack and you guys felt our wrath that's what it was i know a shout out austin shout housekeeper out though dude austin love housekeeper you, bro. the man shout out the boy man love that guy me, yeah, boy. there's like a ton of dudes <clears throat> that that we went out with that i i like and i, I respect and I'm yeah. missing. me and housekeeper yeah. got pretty close though. alonzo juan <clears throat> love you guys my boy miles mon marcos my Can't boy forget marcos. our texas love marcos man texas native i love marcos yeah, i want to Mar- go see marcos again. marcos the boy oh. marcus no oh, marcus marcus hensel abe, <laughs> abe before yeah abe's the i didn't know him before <laughs> okay i met abe's him there cool. abe's, cool. abe's so sick him and landon mm-hmm. yeah. love those landon, guys shout out i hope you guys are all doing well for real hope you guys are doing good anyways thank you so much <laughs> for listening to this episode of friends with benefits sorry if it's a little bit longer we had a lot of fun talking about this. A lot of stuff to oh, discuss. Oh, man. We had some crazy experiences with summer sales, and this honestly just barely scratches the surface. Like, leave a comment if you want Dante to come back on. We'll see if <laughs> we can get a, another one of our uh, summer sales homies to come on, too, and we'll just tell stories because we got we got banks, like got buckets of stories. Sir. Yeah. Anyways, my name's Diego. My name is Dante. Hi. We'll see you next time. outro <laughs> music. <laughs> <laughs>